Welcome to season two of Heart to Heart with Helen. This season, I will be interviewing more of my amazing friends who support Give Kids World Village and help make dreams come true for rich kids like me. I hope you have as much fun watching as I did interviewing these amazing people. Enjoy! Hello everyone, I'm Callum from Live Magic and welcome to this episode of Heart to Heart with Callum. Uh, my guest today is uh, the amazing Disney Dan, one of my favorite Disney YouTubers. Uh, welcome to the Magic Dan. Me? I'm one of your. F that's a. That is a. That's a. That's a. That's a large title to bear, my friend. To be your favorite. Like one of your favorite. I'm truly honored. Thank you for having me. I love. It's called Heart to Heart. You know, that's like the Goofy movie, Eye to Eye. You know, I love. I yeah. love when we're just. I love when we're connecting. You know, uh, <laughs> connecting hearts. Yeah. Um. The 24 hour charity live stream was absolutely amazing. Like, I can't believe that you guys raised that much money for Give Kids World. Um, that much money give ten wish families to stay there. Ten really? wish families. Yeah. Wow, that's really cool. That's really amazing. That makes me really happy. Uh, you, you did you stay at the village when you like all the all the while back during the beginning of your journey? Did you stay yeah. at the the village? Yeah. It, what we, what kind of house did you like? Did you have like a cool like house? Like you had like a full house, right? When you stayed there. So there's a bit. So the big houses are kind of like two split houses, and then the smaller ones oh. are just one main one, and we gotcha. stayed in the split one. Um, cool, cool, cool. I, see, I like, hear those houses are really cool. Yeah. Um. Obviously, you know, we had a uh, breakfast for a uh, bre Oh my god! Oops. Uh, ice cream for breakfast, ice cream for lunch, and ice cream for right. Lunch. Hey, buddy, I have news for you. When you're an adult, man. You can have breakfast ice cream situations whenever you want. I may have had ice cream in the morning yesterday just because, just because it's just cold milk, right? And you, yeah. I, you drink milk in the morning, so it's just yeah. cold milk. Um, also, the best like ice cream breakfast things is you take a waffle, vanilla ice cream, and then a waffle. It's so good. That just makes sense. That just makes sense. We're already yeah. eating waffles for breakfast. Uh, just put some ice cream on them. Yeah, I mean, butter's the same thing, right? Right. It all comes from the same animal, man. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so... <laughs> I love that. I'm going to ask you a few questions, um, and we're just going to have a lot of fun. Uh, okay. So the first question is, what video did you have the most um, most fun researching and creating? Oh, you know what? Um, oh, that's such a good question. When I was making the Peter Pan uh, costume evolution video, that was really amazing to me because like, I was like, oh yeah, I've got like about 20 costumes. I should be wrapping up this this story here as I'm doing the research. And they just kept going and I just kept finding more and I kept finding more and I kept finding more. And I had like over like 40 Peter Pan costumes at a certain point. I was just like, my goodness, we have dressed this character up a lot of different ways over the years. It was really, uh, it was a lot of, it was, it, I just couldn't believe how many, and I still missed like three or four. It was really wild. And there's so many like costumes of Peter Pan, but you like barely see Peter Pan. Like I think, me and my family yeah. saw it like one time. Literally, well, you know why? Because his shadow is the, usually what's lurking around, you know? So Peter Pan's yeah. shadow is, he's out there. He's like the elf at, at Christmas time, you know? He's out checking on things and then Peter follows up. He sits in those um, carts with no people in it. Like, <laughs> on the and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. Uh, so yeah, it was Peter Peter Pan. Peter Pan I had was the most like brain breaking of of the research. But now I'm having so much fun uh, researching characters that aren't Disney characters, like you know, like Mario or Sonic yeah. or um. Oh, here, look here. Here's the episode I just shot. Here, I'll just pull the screen into the or Teletubbies. Oh my so, I don't know if you know what Teletubbies are, Kellen, but it was a real wild time. <laughs> the '90s were real wild, Kellen. Um. So next question. If you could bring back any Disney attraction or character meet, what would it be? Callan, that's easy. That's easy, buddy. I would bring back Dreamfinder. 
I don't know if if you're super familiar with Dreamfinder. I'm sure you can YouTube it. You know, I know that like Kev's got some got a great episode about it and yeah. stuff. But um, man, I really love the Dreamfinder. I have a lot of kinship with that. And just ultimately, the character uh, wasn't like rooted to some idea of what you had of the character. Like when you go to meet you know, Stitch. You're like, oh, Stitch, I've seen your movies. I know what you're like. And so people yeah. have this expectation. But Dreamfinder, Dreamfinder was just imagining things all the time. So he had the ability to just talk to you. Like like when you meet Santa, you can just talk yeah. to him and have like have like real like interactions with him and tell him about yeah. your imagination. And I think that was really cool. I, I, I love that we, I love characters you can talk to. Yeah, um, I have a video idea. I don't know if you did this yet. The evolution of Figment. You know what, buddy? I think it's time. I think I might need to do that. I think you're well, right. Yeah. Um, I think you're right. I think you're right. Do I, you know what, though? Maybe there's a figment. That they, they keep talking about fixing up figment. Do, do you want them to change the figment ride, or do you like the figment ride? Uh, I I like the figment ride, but if they're changing it back to the old one, then I like it way better. Okay, that's a great answer. That's a great answer, champ. A plus. <laughs> um, next question. What is your best Disney memory? Ooh, I you know I grew up going to Disney with my family, just like just like you did, and I really enjoy all of those memories because they ultimately laid the foundation for what I now go back to the parks and really enjoy. The things that you're doing with your family in the parks right now are going to inform what you are going to do with your family in the park one day. It's They're gonna inform what you're gonna do in the park with your friends. And so I, I don't know what it is. I, I'm, I'm a huge, well, I'll, I is I do know what it is, Kellen. I'm a super smeller. I don't know if you've heard about that, but Google it. And essentially my nose works like a dog's nose. I can just smell all the things, Kellen. I can just smell all the things. So many of my Disney memories are linked to stinks or smells, you know? And so <laughs> Disney, all the Disney stinks out there. Uh, but you know, I like the smell of the water and I love the smell of like the fake flowers in certain rides and the smell of fake burning stuff and or the or the haze i just love all the smells of disney parks they're just they're just so many that just activate so many great memories in my brain yeah i think the best like top two like smells are uh when you're in uh the ride at epcot where rome is burnt and then yeah. uh in so in soren the orange smell there's like oh the soren orange smell oh, is so good it's yeah. so good it's so, and, it, and I like how it's even strong enough that you can still smell it through your mask when you're riding. Yeah. Uh, you know, you can still smell it, which I think that's pretty great. And you know what, buddy? You could just, that is just Epcot the ride. I don't even, I don't, I don't know what we're doing calling it Spaceship Earth. Just call it Epcot the ride. Because that's, yeah. just, people are just like, I want to go ride Epcot. And I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. Um, also, we actually got stuck at the Rome Park. So we just want to Did like, you? For like, five minutes it was so that's really cool you, you probably people were like hey, were you just out camp were you just at like a campfire or something you're like no man i just got stuck in rome <laughs> um all right next question what disney kids are you most like oh okay um oh okay uh uh oh okay uh okay 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 i'm a mix of like big al and the timekeeper. <laughs> I think. Yeah, I think. Because I have the whole, I gesticulate a lot, which the timekeeper definitely does. Do you know who the timekeeper is? Have you ever watched any video, like the old uh, Tomorrowland videos about the timekeeper ride that was in Tomorrowland? No. I never mm. heard about that ride. You got to you got to check it out, man. It's really cool. Robin Williams plays this robot that like you, you like ride and travel through time with. You're going to absolutely love it. It's like the genie, you know. Uh ah, ah, that may be beep beep uh, uh, uh. Kelvin, man, that's a hard question. I I don't I don't even know. Oh man. <laughs> I am going to stick with Big. I'll stick with Big Al. I'll stick with Big Al cuz I have a lovely voice, but I'm understated. Um I think my character would probably be like Stitch and uh, I don't know who the other one was, but probably Stitch. Hey man, Stitch is, you and Stitch have the same thing going on with the top of your head. Like you both have like a pointy hair situation. So yeah. you're already halfway there. You just need to start enlarging your ears. So just look into that. I don't know how you might just, maybe there's a hat you could wear or something, but you're, you're, you're on your way, man. Yeah. 
Um, okay, next question. I haven't, I haven't checked in with your parents, but I'm sure you climb all over things. I'm sure that you're just, you're making a mess, eating food, having hot dog burps. So, you know, you and Stitch are probably a one-to-one -one almost. So I, I believe it. Basically my morning, you know, <laughs> check on things special. Amazing. Okay, next question. This one is really good. What are your favorite foods to eat on Disney's property? Okay, yeah, that is a really great question, buddy. Um, I love Tonga Toast. I don't know if you've ever been to the Kona oh, Cafe. Toast. You know what? I'm just gonna st I'm just gonna land in the Polynesian and continue all of my answers from there because the Loco Moco breakfast, which is just a hamburger on rice, is also very good. But then when you go downstairs to Captain Cook's, they have uh like this this like this like pork fried rice that is yeah. just just amazing i uh, essentially anything that you can consume at the polynesian resort is my favorite food but also also for the record your honor a churro is always great in my book oh uh, the churros oh sometimes you get like a cold and chewy one but sometimes you get a nice and Hi, right, really good right. Work. It's it's like French fries. You know, it's like French fries when you go to McDonald's. It's always a dice roll. Yeah. Are you gonna get a good French fry? Are you gonna get a bad French fry? You know, and that's that's the same that's the same dice roll with churros in Disney parks. You're like, uh, you know what? They're good either way. I'll eat them. Yeah. Here's actually a little uh, tip: when you go to McDonald's and you order fries, get unsalted fries because they will make them fresh. Because they have a bunch of salted fries in the back, and then get a bunch of salt packets. In a cup, put the fries in a cup, put the salt in a cup, and shake it up, and boom, done. Nice and hot salted fries. Kellen, that sounds like the energy of youth. All right, committing to something like that. I'm an old man. Uh, you know, I, 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 that, I mean, that is, that sounds like a five minute, like, life hack. All right, that sounds incredible. I'll, I'm going to try it next time. I'm going to try it next time. I'm going to try it. I'll try it. I'll try it. I'm going to try it. That sounds like a good tip. Um, next question. If you could spend a day at Dis at a Disney park with any past or present, who would it be? With anyone past or present? Can, can you repeat the question? Uh, if you could spend a day at a Disney park with anyone, past or present, who would it be? Mm, mm, mm. You know what? Mm. 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 Hmm. That's such a good question. Um, um, you know, I think that people would be like, oh, I'd love to like walk around with Walt Disney. And I'm sure that that would be fine. But Walt Disney's just like, he's just like a grandpa, you know, like sometimes he was in a good mood. Sometimes he wasn't in a good mood. So it's yeah. just like, who wants to, you know, like that would be fun. You know what? I, I'm going to go with my, my first instinct in my heart. I don't, I don't know if you know who she is. So it's the only reason why I didn't bring it up, but I would love to just stroll around Hollywood studios with Betty White. That's something I'd like I to know who she is. I there know. you go. Yeah. I'd love to just stroll around with Betty White and Hollywood Studios. Like, like uh, Hollywood Studios back in its day. Yeah. Yeah, Hollywood yeah. Studios. When uh, she passed away, my mom was literally in tears. Literally in tears. Could not yeah. stop crying for like 10 minutes. Me too, least. man. I get it. Okay. Uh, I'm inspired every single day. Um by people like you who support Keep Kids World Village and help make dreams come true for rich kids like me. Who has been your biggest inspiration? That's really great. You know, I don't really talk about him a lot, but I worked for and kind of had my career kicked off by a guy named John Tartaglia, who is now um, who's now Gobo Fraggle, who's the who's the, helped brought the Fraggles back. Um, John. Uh, help. He, John was the original star of one of my favorite Broadway musicals uh, that then translated into some other Broadway work that I got to participate in that kind of like kickstarted a little bit of who I was and who I'd become. And a, a lot of that really uh, goes back to, to John, to Johnny. And um, I, it's, he's really been a big inspiration for me uh, as, as like a puppeteer, as an entertainer, as a creator. Um, and, and then, you know, I think that also my parents are very hardworking people. They're very hard workers. They own a business and, you know, like it's like the, the business is the family. It's the family is the business. And like they 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 really have instilled in me like a, just a get it done at it. Like we're just you're just going to get it done. Like it's going to get done. And that has really propelled me into a space of like 
but between those two things, like a space of creativity and a space of determination that it just gets done. And so, you know, I find inspiration of the, the people that I grew up with and I'm, I'm surrounded by, and I find inspiration by the people I work with and the opportunities that I, that I go and find for myself. Cause I want to, I want to try to always shoot as big as I can so that I can have as many great people around me. So I could just feed off of their energy and learn and get better and get smarter. And so, yeah. um, I'm always surrounded by people that I'm looking up. I'm, I'm looking up to. I'm always surrounded by people that inspire me, and so that's that's. I think that's what's the that's the secret of doing good things. I think is is yeah. just to be surrounded by people who are growing because then you will grow. Yeah, like say like you're next to someone that has like 1,000 subscribers, but you only have like 20. If you kind of like friend each other. You right. rise up and the other YouTuber will also rise up. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's building community. And that's such a great point. It's community building is really important to me. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, having people that do the things that you do that are, you know, that are your age that you can talk with, that you can communicate with, that you can share experience. Like it's really important. So yeah. Community is also a massive inspiration community for sure. Yeah. Um, so thank you so much for uh, spending like time with me, Dan. Uh, this was amazing. Uh, I really enjoyed interviewing you. Uh, and thank you so much for all that you do uh, to support Give Kids World Village. Uh, guys, please subscribe to my friend Dan. Um, his channel is awesome. Uh, and he has some uh, really great videos on like uh, history and evolution of Disney. His videos are just amazing. Guys, please definitely subscribe to him. Uh, we'll have his channel in the description. Uh, definitely go check out Hello. him. Yeah, uh, we'll also have all of his uh, socials too. You can just find, just type in Disney Dan and I'll, I'll pop up, but you gotta spell it right. You can't put a Z in there, that's a different guy. Disney Dan is a different guy, and, and yeah. I'm not Disney, and I'm not Disney Dave. That's another guy. It's Disney Dan. You just type it into the Google, and she'll bring it to me. I promise. Yep. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, hey, I so can I ask you some like a question, a couple questions about yeah. Give Kids the World? Okay, so you had you had ice cream for breakfast every morning, but like, did you like ride the rides? I understand there's like a Halloween thing, like there's holidays. Like, what are some of like what were some of like the the things that you really enjoyed and you remember doing when you were there that weren't going to the parks? Like, what give kids the world stuff did you do that you're like, oh, that was cool? So they have about uh, they used to have only uh, two rides, but they kind of recently opened some like probably like a year ago uh so they have a carousel a train ride we're actually in the train ride you get to see a prop that they use for jurassic park um what? They so have, that's cool yeah they have a huge swing and they have like that like dumbo disney kind of thing but it's like butterflies and stuff mm, um, mm, mm. it's like bugs yeah um Hey, bugs fly, Dumbo flies. That's uh, that makes sense. That works for me. Yeah. Um, we so what we mostly did was obviously eat breakfast and we ride uh, the carousel a lot. And they have their own like water park. It's called the Splash Park. Oh, uh, that's cool. And I remember we have this story where there was this one time we were coming home from one of the parties, and we were me and my sister were like fully clothed. And we really wanted to run through the splash park because, like, I had, like, all the buckets and stuff. Uh -huh. And my parents are just like, hey, why not? So we just run through. It was so much fun. Um, That's so cool. I love that and, so much. Yeah. Every day of the week is a party. Um, and I forget what days it is, but each day of the week is a party so it could be like Halloween, Christmas, uh it could mm. be like Easter or something like that. What was that. the best party? Uh Christmas because you talk to Santa and when you're done you go down this ramp and then there's a bunch of toys that you could just pick out. That's cool. And, and um, that's really cool. I got this like Mario um Mario uh Monopoly uh that was there. Um 
and I got like a Transformers. It, it was really cool. That's awesome. That's a really, really cool. That's cool. So Christmas party was the best party. Yes. That's where that's the place to be. Apparently that's cool. All right. So my next question is who else, who do you really want to interview next on your, on, uh, on your heart to heart? Like who are some other people you want to talk to? Oh God. TPM Vince possibly. Um, Mm, TPM Vince. Okay. He's well, he's Canadian. So, I mean, like that's, I don't know if the internet goes across uh, 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 international borders or not, but we can find out. I mean, you are pretty far away. Um, I, 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 yeah, but hey, we're both still in America, all right? I don't know if the internet goes from America to Canada. I, so I, I don't know if those things are connected. So I, we'll have to find out. I could probably just meet them in Epcot. You know, we probably just yeah. like. There you the, go. There you go. Brilliant. You know. Okay. So um, you want a TPM vids? Anyone else? Anyone else that you're looking to get? Oh, God. This is so hard. Um, I really don't. How's it feel? How's it feel to get hard hitting questions back on your own podcast, Callan? <laughs> um, I I really don't know. Well, you got to talk to Kevin. You got to yeah. talk to me. So, what? Who? Who else is there really? Other and, and TPM. Uh, other than the three of us, aka the best YouTubers on YouTube. Who else is there to talk to? I don't know. I don't think anybody really. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um. Also, probably uh, Mr. Beast. Hey, uh, Mr. Beast is pretty cool, yeah. And I I just imagine of him filming a video where he just donates gift kids like a million dollars. That would be, that would be pretty cool. Work. Yeah, right uh, now he's too busy out there trying to save trees in the ocean to worry about give kids the world. But we should. I bet if we got his attention, he would definitely help out. Yeah. He seems like a cool guy. Um, also, uh, do you know who Mark Robert is? Yeah, I do. He's pretty cool too. Yeah. Um, he makes like insane, like crazy much. Like he made this shirt cannon, but it was like an actual cannon. Like that could yeah. It was so cool. It's so cool. So so cool. Yeah, I love that. Hey, that's a good dream list. Um I'm I'm sure TPM would love to chat with you. So we'll 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 try to find out if we can we can chat with him. That would be uh, so cool. Uh, Kevin and I will yell at him a little bit and uh, see what I mean, he's in. He's in Canada. So it's going to take a while for him to hear us because we have to yell across the border, but we'll, we'll get there. Yeah. Um, I uh, okay. Actually... My, I have one last question. Kevin. Okay. Am I not cool anymore? Cause I play Fortnite. I... It, it, like, is it cool to play Fortnite or is it not cool to play Fortnite? I'm, I gotta, I gotta know. And I feel like you, you might have that information. It depends on if you have a default skin or a good skin. Oh, yeah. buddy, I've got the good skins. All right, I've got good okay. skins. I'm Spider Man okay. and stuff. Really? I'm still yeah. trying to get that Spider Man. Yeah, it's. Um, I just got it. It's taken me a while. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, so as long as I'm not default skinning, I, I'm cool. Okay, good to know. Good now, enough. I cool. have one last question for you. Sure. What? To, have you been to Disneyland in California? Yeah. What's better, Disney World or Disneyland? Disneyland is better, buddy. Disneyland is better. Yeah. Disney World is uh, is a clone of of uh, like a, like a um, I don't know how to explain it. Other, you know, it's like it's like you know, like when now you don't know because you you haven't you, you're just a youngin. So I don't know if you've like lived through like your McDonald's changing what they look like inside. Maybe McDonald's are changing what they look like inside. <laughs> So it's like um, it's like going to old like a, a McDonald's that hasn't been updated in a long time. You're like ah, old McDonald's, and then you yeah. go into a new McDonald's and you're like oh, so they just they optimized a lot of stuff. Everything's bigger and weirder and brighter, and I, yeah. it's still good. It's still good, but it's just new McDonald's. So I just like that old Disneyland. And Walt Disney himself walked around it. You know what I mean? He like poked stuff yeah. and like. You know, like he sneezed on things. You know what I mean? So like I, and it's just good to know that like maybe Walt Disney sneezed on the same bench that I'm sitting at, you know? So like, I just like to think about that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, but so my family actually went to Disneyland. But yeah. But that's the problem. It was in January of 2020. So March, the pandemic, Mar- wait, March 2020. So it was starting. Uh, so Corona was starting. Uh, Did you get to go in or was it closed? We got to go in, but it was mm. pouring. 
Uh, my dad almost slipped and died like five million times. It was raining? Yes. In How California? Yeah. Um, wow, but, buddy. It was uh, raining in Los Angeles. That's that's wild. It, that yeah. doesn't happen often. Uh, at least we got to do the Roger Rabbit, uh, Roger Rabbit ride. That ride's we pretty had cool. To do that. We had to go because the LA locked out. So, like, literally, like, we were in line and we literally had to get a red eye flight home. Literally. But we were still in line. I'm like, wow. At least let us ride this ride. Yeah. Wow. That's wild. But yeah, thank you so much wow. for uh, spending time with me. This was an amazing interview. Uh, yeah. I was a little nervous before. Uh, you have to be nervous with me, buddy. Th thank you uh, so much for being here. I, so you just, you, you nailed this. Like, oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? You just rolled in like a professional. <laughs> You're like a small Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> Basically, basically. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Heart to Heart with Count. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you'll be notified anytime when we upload a new video. And make sure you live in the magic. Bye!